Look, look, let's go, let's go, look, let's go get it, come on. Let's go, we'll go get it together. You may be able to get it better than me, but she lost sight of it. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Unfortunately, I don't know for how long, but unfortunately until that's healed, she can't go back in the ocean. Yeah, because it's sliced there. And she can't be on sand. We just okay. can't have your paws get infected because you- I know. You have a bad history with your paws being hurt. So good girl. Yes, and you need your little paws. Today we are here we are at the Halifax Harbor, about to go and uh, right into the Atlantic Museum today. It is a beautiful ass day today, look at that. Tourist season's out, everyone's coming through. <coughs> beautiful spot. We just got the sad news that our buddy Merlin is actually getting, well, got sent off to Safari Niagara. So Up our, in Ontario. Yeah, he was our friend here. We have a bunch of footage with him and we'd always come visit him. Yeah, so uh, if you guys remember, whenever we come to the Atlantic Museum, that's where we are right now, there's a parrot and he was in a cage and I always used to show you guys him. And He'd go peekaboo. Yeah, it's so unfortunate you didn't get to meet him, bro. I didn't have the chance to see him. Uh, Merlin, but he's really he's happy cute. where he is. Without and he might have a mate. The reason is, during COVID, he was getting stressed out. He was picking his feathers and like just harming himself. He got shipped to Ontario where people actually study to take care of stuff like that. So he's going to be probably mating with another bird, you know, being able to fly around, having a bigger space and stuff. Not that they, you know, harmed him here. He loved it here. And it's been years you know, being here for him, so. How do we get to the Titanic spot? Oh, it's over there. Oh, but there's a presentation going on. Oh. Uh, Can we even So get we gotta shot? like sneak out. We should ask if we even have access to that. Yo, the fastest warship in the world, HMS Brador. HMCS Brador, Brador, it's Brador. Brador. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brador. Mm. High speed of health. But it was like for coastal, mainly for coastal defenses. Yeah. That were used. But it, it didn't last long, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember, but we did, we did show you guys this. I know there's a lot of new people here, but the museum actually offers what they found. Yeah, we should go. We should go here. It's Jeff's first time being here, so he's uh, <laughs> where is he? He's behind me right there, so he's checking some stuff out. If you guys want to go see his stuff, make sure to hit his link down below in the description. But uh, yo, like this place, man, it's like really cool. The stuff from the Titanic, which is upstairs, we got to make our way upstairs. It's a huge presentation behind me. I think there's an elevator, but we're gonna check that out. There's, you know, the Halifax explosion stuff, all of this stuff. Well, mostly that stuff back there. There are a lot of things. Oh yeah, going up. Yes, sir. To the Titanic. There you go. Yeah, look, Titanic floor right there. Titanic. To the Titanic. Yes, sir. And days of sail. Let's go to the lobby. To the Titanic. The lobby sounds more fun. I'm just kidding. <laughs> there was a presentation. Oh. oh. Okay, I guess it's this. That tripped me out. That tripped me out. Hmm. Been trying to find my way up here. Here we are, everybody. Whoa. Here we are. Yo, Jeff, the Titanic first the, ship, the, the Atlantic. Atlantic. Yes. All of this stuff so was found. Pieces that were found. No more me did an investigation where the, the victims of the SS Atlantic rest. And those were, 
Yo. All taken from the wreck. The Look wreck at that. So close to the surface. Look at that Bible, though. Look at the clock next to it, too. Isn't that yeah. gorgeous? This was the White Star Line's very first disaster nearly 40 years before the Titanic. Everybody knows the Titanic, but this was the very first White Star Line disaster. It happened here, right off the coast. We've actually investigated that yep. cemetery for uh, one day. But yeah, like. Right there, we see that photo. We, we saw, we investigated exactly where. That photo was taken. That one right there, a bunch of people. Look at that life tube, man. Wow. And this right here was one of the chairs found on the deck of the Titanic. Yeah. yeah. It's recovered, man. That's so cool. Recovered by McKay Bennett in April 1912. The wicker it was floating, probably. Probably on, on the water. It's a deck chair. That's it. The, the, the certificate of um, registry of the Titanic. I know we don't have like a lot like the other museums do have, but I just have to give credits to the Atlantic Museum guys, like. It went off the coast here, up north, almost by Newfoundland, right? And a lot of the victims came here to a bunch of different restaurants, to houses, and they were passed on. So this is an example of what one of the first class rooms would have looked like, and how much mm. it would have cost. So for a family, like almost 1200 bucks. For wow. a single person, 138 So that was a lot of money back then. Yeah. So they had... The first class passenger list was recovered from the body of Herbert Caves, a steward. This is part of it. Wow, that would be nice. And then you have second too. class here. So there's a massive jump from first class family to second class family. You go from 1,200 for a first class family to 200 for a second class family. Jesus. It's a nice room. It is. Well, yeah, second class. Yeah, this, yeah. Really nice room. Yeah, dude, this is what these rooms would have looked like. Yeah, first, first class. class. Yes. But even back then, that money is crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy the, money. The, 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 the room I was on, on the Queen Mary, uh, in today's money, it would be worth, be worth uh, at least $35 thousand dollars just to travel in that suite it was like about i think ten thousand dollars back in the day that that's why <laughs> the king of england when he advocated travel in in this suite with yeah with yeah Alice simpson so that's wow. the suite i investigated when i went to visit the queen mary i love the photos and you got to give this place credit man like I know there's some other museums across America and the world that have more, but the ship sank right off the coast here. Yeah. Like literally right here. So I give it credit. I love, I love like how it's kind of local in a way. Look, this was part of that upper, see that window right above it. Just to have that here. I know here. some parts of the ship were like floating all around. So they took what they could, yeah. What they could. I don't know, seeing this in person, no matter how many times we've been here, we've seen it, it's still every time seeing it, it feels like the first time you're seeing it, yeah. and it feels surreal. Yeah, a little fun fact about me too. I was watching Titanic on the VHS the other day. I have a VHS TV, like a tube TV in the kitchen, so when I'm cooking, I watch VHS. I'm just like that. I have a whole collection I collect. Ever since I was a young kid, I used to watch VHS and over VHS all the time. I just threw on Titanic the other day, and back on VHS, it comes in two tapes. That's how long the movie is. I'm just on a huge Titanic kind of trip right now, and I'm loving the whole vibe. I never get bored of it either. Yo, you guys have probably seen this before. These were used to literally walk on the bottom of the ocean. Now this one specifically, uh, we're trying to salvage the wreck of Chameau in 1725 and had a little more than hot chocolate and insulated grease to assist their diving. I could just imagine how freaking difficult it would be to walk in those. This is straight up my favorite artifact. Love the helmet, love the suit. That's for a big boy though. 
Sheesh. I'm gonna be completely real with you guys. I, I would dive, but not in that suit, for real. That's crazy too. One tug more air, two tugs less air, three tugs help me out. That's so cool. You've been Ooh. wanting to take your scuba diving course. I think I wanna like, since we live by the ocean now, I've been thinking, and I don't know if Chels, I don't know if she'll do it, but I wanna take like a course in diving. You know, like I really wanna start doing I'll vlogs in an actual suit. You. you try it with I'll me? I'll try it with you. What the hell is this? It's a shoe. Saving a shoe and a buckle. A sailor's shoe, but was worn on the left foot. Bones. Oh my God, what the hell is that? Bones. To so what? Pig. Pork bones and were that, found. And that was probably like a rat. Yeah. Yeah, that's a rat. Wow. It's kind of cute. <laughs> it's kind of cute? It is. I, I do, I like rats. I think rats are cute. Yeah, they're cute, but they're gross and they carry diseases and shit. Yeah, but you can have them as pets and they're cute. True. True, 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 true. Uh-huh. To carry on with that other message, I do want to take my diving course. I want to be able to go on this channel, on the vlog channel, and actually do something different for you guys. I want to make that a signature thing where I just, like, I want to go diving. I hate what's in the water, hate what's in the ocean, but I would do it for you guys. And I'm very curious to check out, like, shipwrecks, you know, like I would never go to the Titanic in a billionaire's freaking submarine. I don't know. I would love to check out the depths of the ocean. Me too. I'd love to find some old bottles. You would actually dive though? I'd try it. I have like, I have a fear of being in water. <laughs> well, I do so too. I, I don't know how that'll go, but I'll definitely try it. Well, yeah. Uh, taking our scuba diving courses. Yeah, we're here. I, 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 I'm a certified scuba diver. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. So you would see? come diving with me? Oh, yeah. That's the SS this is, Pontiac. Yeah, the SS Pontiac. Whoa. What's this? The MT Canadaloit. Canadaloit. AMC. Man, the details Atlantis. on these ships? Yeah. Sheesh. Hey, oh. There she is. What's that, Queen Mary? Yep. Hey, Queen Mary. Wait, which one's the Queen Mary? This one right here. Oh, yes. Queen Mary. The Queen Mary. The Queen Mary. Which one's this? Wow. The Bloody Daniel. Holy. Yeah, that, what a freaking replica, dude. Like, wow. Steamships, wow. right? Yep. Crazy. Wow, that's crazy detail, to be honest. Like for real. Oh, what's this? Look at this, Holmes. Like, imagine that. It would take you all day to walk from that end to the other end. Whoa. It's a radio Good room. Radio room? Like the wireless room, it says. 1943 Canadian Marconi. Ship CM11, all way transmitter, transmitter receiver. receiver. Yeah, that's kind of like a. It's a radio, radio room. Station, the wireless room. That's so cool. And you'd sleep right there. And just go for a nap right there. Right there. Right there. Right there, mate. And 1844, the Saladin. Mm. Saladin. Yeah. That looks like it would have been. Yeah, beautiful. many people believe the figure had to be from Saladin. It may actually be from another vessel. That's nuts. So Saladin was Saladin was a famous Arab foe of the Crusaders. Its last owners of the Stairs family believed it to be from the Bark Saladin. So he was a famous Arab enemy of the Crusaders. They look like pirates. Yeah, they were pirates. So we found our way into the Ship of Sails Museum exhibit for the sailing floor, I guess. Eyes of the sea. Say. So this is a figurehead from the ship St. Patrick. That's cool, the story behind that. Which was them. wrecked on the coast of Nova Scotia in September 1841. Jeez, bro. Whoa, what the hell is that? Yeah, the floor might be a little bit, a uh, little bit creaky, but. Creaky, but yeah. Look at the yeah, I know, I noticed a lot of these. What in the... 
That's nuts. Yeah, so that guy was a shipbuilder. That's George Ramsey. And that is... I don't know. I don't know who that guy is. It's hard to read. That's the Scottish chief, though. And that is... Figurehead from Lota. The bust from, from a female figurehead was discovered on Sable Island in 1916. What is this? No way. Come here, come here. Look, it's like being on the ship. No. Oh, it's like crooked, bro. Yeah. It's, <laughs> damn, yeah, it's, shit. They even have the, the rat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh. Look at the bunks. Yeah. There's Whoa. two bunks down there, too. What the hell? Yo, I feel like I'm in a damn time slip right now. Me too, man. I feel like I'm on a sail ship going, like we're going out fishing. <laughs> yeah. Man, this is... Hey, Jordan. What? Oh. Little cabinet? What? Whoa. That's gotta be... Yeah, it's got to be like for the exhibit, something. Oh yeah, you hear the, like the little motor. It must be to create yeah. the career. <laughs> I thought there was a damn ghost in here. I thought you were pointing at the cabinet and then the door started creaking out really creepily. Oh well. That's so cool. I felt like I just stepped into a time slip right there. Yo, did you see that? It's That's like you're really on a boat. Cool. That's cool. You see the door in the back though? Check that door. What door? The pantry oh. door. Look at it, look at it. Oh yeah, what about it? It's, oh. It moves like a poltergeist is uh... <laughs> That's good. It's <laughs> cool, isn't it? It is cool. This is now my favorite floor. Me and like, I feel like there's energy in here too. Yeah. I almost want to pull out Spirit Talk. <laughs> um, well, I think we're in a part, in a real old part. Yeah, you can tell by the bricks. Yeah. Wow. This is my favorite floor. We haven't checked yeah, this floor out yet. I ever. like this spot. Just so you guys are aware, they close in 10 minutes, they said. They close in 10 minutes? Yeah. All right, well, we'll make sure to stay so we get locked in, we can investigate. <laughs> I like the way you think. I'm kidding. Wow, even more ship modules. I love them, they're so beautiful. Scooter Canada. Yo, this one was built in Denmark, 1902. Yeah, it's usually docked in Lunenburg. Luna's two, Luna's two. Luna, the original Luna, is one of the most famous ships here in Denmark. It's on our dime. It's on our dime, and it's, <laughs> yeah. it's a national symbol. That's cool. Well, that was cool, that was the Days, Days of Sale exhibit. We've never actually, uh, whoa. How's it going, man? Alrighty then. We're out here enjoying the summer day today. We got Keo playing fetch a stick. Her favorite game ever, by the way. Good girl. Go, Keo, go. You got this. Damn, it's getting cold. Good job, Kia. There you go. A girl. Swim to mama. Swim to mama. There Kia goes. So cute. My legs are absolutely frozen right now. Sheesh. <laughs> so yeah, we've been doing this with Kia for, I mean, ever since it started getting hot outside. So she's been enjoying it. We're trying to get her out every day. Like it's nice like this. Right now it's like 31, I think. So, look at her. She's crazy. Oh my God. It's actually really cold. The water? Yeah. I can imagine. Good girl. I think she minds it. No, she doesn't mind that at all. I thought it was gonna be 
a little bit warmer. warmer. It's actually really cold. That's ice water for me. It's um, the ocean is usually the warmest up near like the north shore. Look at this stick. Did you destroy that? Oh yeah, she did. <laughs> I gotta collect these sticks now because she keeps leaving them everywhere. Yeah, she's feeding. There's, <laughs> there's some over there. Sometimes she doesn't even bring them back. She just leaves them in the water. Look at this. She ate this thing like a chicken drum. She destroyed it. She probably thought it was chicken. That was a chicken wing. Oh my I god. Hit that bird. Who's the good girl? Good job. Look at her go. This is her absolute favorite activity. Once the summer hits, we've had her for like two years now. And she just literally four or five hours she could be going all day and she just keeps she's like she won't stop <laughs> i'm gonna go farther just hunk it give it a good one yeah she's a little bit nuts i'm gonna push a little bit further here oh my god it's cold so this is considered a yacht yard people leave their really nice yachts she's got her own little private area here look at her little paws it's a good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, where's mom? Where's mom? Welcome to our daily life. It's starting this off in the water today because today is hot. Today is just one of those days where you want to be in the water. It's beautiful. Hey, look at that. Dingle Tower. You guys know what that is. Been there many times, many times to do live streams, haunted stuff. It's actually not that bad. She looks like a little water beaver. <laughs> Go see mama. Go get mama. Go get mama. Go get mama. <laughs> Kia, look, 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 let's go. Let's get it. I'll race ya. I'll race ya. I'll race ya. Look, look at right there, right there, right there. Look at her go. Whoa! This is cold now. Damn! She's not faced. She won though. What a good girl. <laughs> get mom. Get mom. How many sticks you got? All right, let her bring it back. She has a habit of not bringing it back. Look, let's race again. Let's race again. Who's going to win? She's going to win. Woo. Drops off here. It is refreshing though. She's going to huck it. Damn, the arm on this girl. Good girl. Good job. Come over here. Good girl. Oh. oh my god. Alright, now it's cold. For real. Oh my god. I tried. <laughs> I thought this would be a lot more warm, but alright, you're getting tired, baby. Last one, last one. Just give her. Swim for it. Look, look, let's go, let's go, look, let's go get it, come on. Let's go, we'll go get it together. You may be able to get it better than me, but she lost sight of it. Good girl. Good. Good girl. Good girl. That's a good girl. Okay, wow, you just poke my eyes out with that. All right, all right. Good girl. She's still paddling away. Are you happy now? You're happy? All right, all right. Hold on. I came into a little bit of an issue here. She's a little, got a little bit of an injury. It's on her back by eh? Which one? This um, one with the white? No, the other one. The other one? Yeah, I know, baby. 
Um, yeah, it looks like she might have sliced her foot on something. So I think we're gonna have to probably get her some water shoes. Yeah, it's this one. I'm trying to see if she'll let me. Would you, like the back yeah, one? Yeah, just, I wouldn't touch it, honey. Just let her clean it. No, I know, I know. Really poor thing. I'm gonna have to go clean that, okay? There was a little bit of an issue, so if I should let you guys know, um, the easiest way to say this is when she sees other dogs, she gets heightened. And she may want to play, she may want to run over, or whatever, but we keep her on a leash because we don't know how other owners are with their dogs. We know our dog. But she was fighting us so bad, she wanted to go over to the other dogs, but she, uh, she was just in too much of a heightened state. Like she yeah. was just too jealous of the other dogs who continued to play when she had to stop. So, yeah, see, she's she's yeah. just a little extra heightened right now. So in moments like this, we just remove her, give her some time alone to calm down, and then she's good to try again. As you guys know, she does have trauma. She's come a long way, but she's still got work to do. We've been doing a lot of training with her, and she's getting better, but still, you know, trauma. There are times where she does get triggered, and this is one of those times. So, yeah, we're gonna have to take her back, clean that up. Mm -hmm. Oh man. That's okay, we'll just put some Dr. Maggie's on it, make sure it stays clean. Unfortunately, I don't know for how long, but unfortunately until that's healed, she can't go back in the ocean. Yeah, because it's sliced, eh? And she can't be on sand. <sighs> um, Poor baby. So that's okay. Kiki. Yeah, we'll give you something else to do. We just can't okay? have your paws get infected because you. I know. You have a bad history with your paws being hurt. So good girl. Yes, and you need your little paws, okay? Yeah, we'll take good care of you, baby. No worries. It's just a boo boo. Oh, she sees a dog. That's a cute dog. We'll go for a drive, yeah. Kiki. Maybe put this around her. At least we'll you just, had uh... a fun time, and you did really good with those dogs. Okay. <laughs> we were also swimming. Yes. That was really good. I know you were just jealous. Yeah. And you said, well, why do those dogs keep get to swim when I have to leave? It's kind of her fault, though, because she kept on leaving the sticks places and we mm -hmm. ran out of sticks. So, yep. I mean, we were going to take a break. We usually do that and we return back to the water, but the other dogs took over and she kind of got like a little bit. Too yeah, she got a little bit. Too high, so. <laughs> yeah. But it was usually, we know her differences between her barks. That was like a. Like, I want to play I'm very bark. Jealous. Yeah. yeah. So. All right, Missy. Let's take you for a drive. So, yeah, for everyone who hasn't seen our daughter, this is Ikea, aka Diane. You can call her Diane because everyone thought it was Ikea, you know, the Swedish furniture store. <laughs> so, if you guys need to, call her Diane. Well, she is wearing a babushka. She's a babushka girl. You're having a babushka? Babushka. Oh, you're so cute in your little babushka. Oh, my God. What a cute gremlin. Yeah, so she's a Connie Corso Staffy. So she's a good mix. I think her dad was a Corso. Her mom was a Staffy. Yeah, she's a beautiful girl. She's a good girl. Yeah. She's a handful. And she's seven going on eight in February. She's a so. Valentine's Day baby. All right, let's 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 bring her back because I don't want that to... Uh, she's going to lick herself silly here. Yeah, she's licking all the salt off. Yeah, what a mess back here. That water is freezing. I'm like... My legs are frozen. Hey, Keek. She's grilling those people. <laughs> Kia, what are you doing there, honey? Little towel on. Little beach girl. Yeah, so welcome back to the vlog, guys. For everyone who has been following along, this is our daily life channel. So if you guys want to see our behind the scenes stuff, this is the channel you guys got to be at, too. It's everything other than our paranormal investigations and it's kind of like a mixture between daily vlogging and haunted stuff and you know just everything else all right gang well we are getting ready to camp and uh camping style yeah look at this oh by the way special mention to key she's doing good again key you gonna say hi key look look baby are you being camera there you go there you go. She's doing better though. Um, <laughs> Kia's feeling a lot better apparently. Um, no, but her paw's pretty much all healed now. It was just like a cut on the inside of her paw. So yeah. it's, 
She's she, been swimming. She's been good running, playing. Yeah, she's. I thought she was gonna be out for like two weeks, but she's good. Hey. Eat that right, baby. And Kia's excited to go camping for pretty much two weeks. She's been enjoying this. She's been really loving it. Just getting the breeze here. Yeah, I think she likes this too. Yeah. Check this out. We bought one of these things. So we pulled it to an empty parking lot and we set it all up. We just got finished setting it up. And now all of a sudden there's like a fair going on in the parking lot. Like the whole parking lot's filled with people now. We're just like casually camping. Like not, like we're not, not actually, actually camping, but we just came to set it up, but it looks like we're just casually camping in a parking lot <laughs> at a fair. So our plan, we're gonna be going to Cape Breton again, but we're going to be meeting up with the Spirit Fam. It's gonna look so good, cause we're gonna be able to like be on grass and have our two chairs out, our cooler, a nice ghost book. It's, it's actually really cool in here, like temperature wise. She's loving it though. Yeah, she's people watching right now. <laughs> I think we're all gonna have a good time. We'll definitely vlog as much as we can of it. That way you guys get to see the experience of this and uh, learn along the way with us because this is pretty much our first time doing like a two week camping trip in our car. Yeah. So we're gonna be learning a couple things, what we need and we'll just see what happens. Yes, ma'am. Ready, Kiki? You ready for vacay? Are you ready vacay, for vacay? Vacay, 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 vacay. <laughs> Kia's She's like, like I'm what? embarrassed, these are my parents. Keep in tune with both of the channels. We're gonna be dropping some good main channels while we're out on vacay and vlogging as much as we can of this trip to share it with you guys. So, Kia, are you ready to hit the road? All right, you ready? Ready, right, ready. Let's go. <laughs> 